Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Laura at the Lincoln Parish Library in the Children's Department. I'm gonna show you how to do our koala craft. And this week for our summer reading, we are focusing on animals from down under. So we're, before we get started, I'm gonna show you some of our nonfiction books about koalas. This one is very nice. And it's a baby koala and his mother and you learn about some really awesome facts. Look at how cute on the back here. Um, also, this is super marsupi marsupials. Uh, that's what a koala is, is a marsupial. If you'd like to learn about what marsupials are, come and get this book and learn about them. All right, and another one we have all about marsupials. Did you know that a possum is a marsupial too? Come and find out what it takes to be a marsupial. What does that word mean? Okay, we're gonna be making this today. And I'm going to begin with getting my instructions. Get everything out of your craft bag. And you are going to need glue and scissors. You're also gonna need something to draw a smile on if you would like to your koala face after you finish. And what I recommend is taking your gray shapes and placing them in front of you. So get all of your gray shapes and place them in front of you. That's what we're gonna start with, okay? And this is the koala body. So you notice that we have a thicker side right here and a thinner side. This is the right way to go with it right here, facing up this thinner side. Lay that down in front of you and get your biggest circle and let's glue it a little bit to the left of the center here on your paper. We'll begin with that. I hope y'all have been enjoying our summer reading. We have already had so many of you come in and report and you're doing great. We are super proud. We have been having a lot of fun with everybody. We've seen a lot of really new faces. So now we've got our koala head on. Next, we're going to put our ears on. That's what these two circles are for. And before we do that, I'm going to show you what I did with the example is I cut little slits in the ear and it makes it look like the koala has fur, even though it's just paper. And it turns out to be pretty cute. And after making these slits, after gluing them on, they actually do look like they have fur. You can do that with the other one. I'm just gonna do it real quickly. After we get the ears glued on, we are going to focus on the eyes. So, take your two ears and glue them on equal sides on each other opposite side of the head, equally spaced apart, if that makes sense one on one side and then as best as you can kind of like this equally spaced apart glue one on the other side and then you can play with your fur and make it look like he's listening to you kind of like that so let's get our eyes we're done with our gray shapes now and we know where our eyes go we are first going to put our white circles. We're going to glue those on first. Ooh, he kind of looks spooky with just the white. So we have two black circles as well, and we're going to glue those on the white circles. Like this. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> we also have a nose for our koala. Koalas have funny looking noses in my opinion. And the nose, this big black piece of paper, goes right in between underneath of the eyes. Now, you remember what I said before, I think he's missing a smile. We gotta give him one. So go grab a pen if you like. And I'm just gonna give mine a little grin. And there he is. I brought this white out because I saw a friend of ours do this to their craft, 
and I wanted to try it with mine. You can get a white crayon too. You can give them little, little dots like that and it makes them look a little bit more real. Okay, now your koala is finished, guys. Yay, he's cute. You're gonna have a brown piece of paper in your bag. I went ahead and I added lines to mine to make it look like a stick, and I even cut something out of it to make it look even more like a stick. And we're going to take our koala and glue him on here to make him look like he is in his natural habitat. So let's flip our koala over and let's just glue his little, what would be his hands and his feet. And then glue him on our stick here. There we go. Did you know koalas have fingerprints like we do and they are not bears? These are going to be the leaves that we're going to add to his tree. And I'm going to say that he's going to be in a eucalyptus tree because koalas love to eat eucalyptus leaves. So here's some right here. Might even give him some to munch on. You can add these wherever you want. I'm going to put one in his hand. How about that? Okay. After you do that, you're finished with your craft. And this is what I have. So come by. See you soon. Keep on reporting. Keep up the good work with summer reading. And we'll see you soon.